I'm gonna talk about why racists aren't the enemy. This is a word. This is a world premiere. This is a word. Ben Shapiro's 10 rules when debating leftists. They humorously generalize leftists as completely unreasonable, delusional adversaries. It's entertaining, but also what passes as political discourse and why political discourse has become so tedious for me. It's like sports where so-and-so blasts so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so shuts up so-and-so and who really won. Again, maybe it's entertaining, but it's not politics. Politics is figuring out how everyone can live, even the people that you don't like. The racist isn't my enemy or anyone who holds an opinion based on ignorance or ideology. I'm striving to focus on the concrete situations that people are living in and working with them to transform those situations. And I'm convinced that if you boil down many ideological positions about others, you get to concern about whether or not a family is able to eat or about layoffs from whatever factory. It boils down to some version of the economy is tanking. Now, the CEO pulling 300 times the salary of their employees might be of greater concern, but the Western psyche is striving to be the CEO. That's the model for humanity. Even though the disparity that that CEO represents leaves 50 million Americans in financial distress and others concerned for their livelihood. And people who don't follow economics depend on myths to understand their world to the point that it's destructive, internalized, like religion, myth defies fact and reason. It's a pointless effort, but even if you could convince someone to stop internalizing myth, that still won't get them to understand economics. Talking to people about how to meet their needs puts myth kind of in the back seat, even if it's not completely dispelled. So instead of lamenting the rise of bigotry and hatred in the US, for example, we might be asking ourselves, are people getting enough to eat? Are they sheltered? Do they have confidence that there are reasonable opportunities for them. I read rude comments, racial slurs, even death threats, and I have to think to myself, what's wrong? What unfulfilled need led to seeking joy in this? To seeking comfort in this? To quote Bertolt Brecht, even the honest act like sinners until they've had their customary dinners. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and dicky guys.